Okay, so we're going to walk you through the phosphor plate. So indirect um, digital radiography. So here are our films. We want to ensure that we're placing it into the barrier with the words and letters facing numbers facing us so that we can see it through the package. The A should always be where you're going to actually adhere and stick together this barrier. That will ensure that it's always going into the SIN wrap, the x-ray holder. Okay, and then just seal it. So I'll do two of those. At this point, you would have your PPEs on when working on a real client. And when we're, when we're taking images with the phosphor plates, we want to ensure that we're using the proper RIN snap array. So we have the rubber protecting the film on the posterior and, and anterior portion. We don't have to worry about anything on the computer. But we do have to ensure that our x-ray machine is turned on. We always suggest just to put the A. So I usually fold this extra bit of barrier over, place it into the client, into this RIN snap array. So the A acts like the dot in traditional film. You want to make sure that the black part of the barrier is facing toward the teeth when you're exposing or toward the PID and that the words are facing away from you. Okay, so you want to ensure that your plate transfer box is left open. I'm just going to put gloves on so that I could do the infection control piece after. So I'll expose the maxillary premolars on the right hand side. So now I'm using the bisecting of the angle technique. So I want to be as close to the tooth as possible. At this point with the bisecting of the angle technique, Monica is ensuring that the vertical angulation is at the correct angulation as well as the horizontal angulation. So there's no foreshortening, there's no elongation, and there's no cone cutting in the film. So now we will, the client is positioned, the PID is positioned, and we have to go out to the control panel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is that using the line measurements? And with direct digital, we used D, which was the computer symbol. And for indirect, with the phosphor plates, we need to press F. A is for traditional. B is for phosphor plates. You can see how the exposure time has changed. And then I have to go in, ahead and choose the area in which I want to expose. So I'm choose, I am choosing to take a radiograph or an image of the premolars on the maxillary, so it's T3, and I'm just going to expose. So exposing, so you would expose all of your phosphor plate sensors, and then once you've exposed all of them with your gloved hands, without touching the transfer box. You want to peel open the barrier with the words facing you, so the image, the part of the film that has captured the image will then be against the black part of the box. Okay. I would remove my gloves
wash my hands. Close the box and then transfer it to the Scanex machine. So we could stop here and then we'll go through the Scanex.